Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what I'm going to show you this morning, or attempt to show you, is uh, a comparison of my external outside antenna, which is a G5RV. Uh, and right now, it's um, actually it's raining outside. I just noticed I'm looking out the window. It's raining outside, and it's... 8.20 in the morning on the east coast of Florida and we've got tuned in I think Radio Australia which usually uh, comes in early in the morning for me and what we're going to do is we're going to compare or try to compare my as I said I think I just started over oh my gosh oh okay <clears throat> reset okay what we're going to do is compare the Grundig GR5 external antenna and the um, loop antenna that I showed you in one of my previous videos which of course is inside the house and it uses this little control box to uh, tune the frequency and power the little amplifier that's on the bottom of the loop antenna. The loop antenna is about Oh, let's say two feet across. So here we go. Let's turn up. Right now, we're going to turn this up. And as you see, uh, right here, maybe. I'm not getting anything on 9.580. Now, we're going to hook up the... As you see, if I, as I get this antenna closer, it, there's some induction and it gets some benefit. So we're going to plug that antenna in. This is the G5RV. What a difference. What? You can see there's a big difference. You can also see that Radio Australia is starting to go away as the sun comes up. But it's pretty loud and clear still. And that's with my G5 RV. We'll disconnect that, set it aside, get it away from the radio. Then we'll hook up the Kato KA33 loop antenna. Plug that in. And we'll turn the audio up. Okay, I don't have it turned, the antenna amplifier turned on yet. This LED is still off, and we don't seem to be receiving anything. Okay, I'm going to turn it on by find the right switch. There it is. Tune it. Get a tuning knob. Okay. It's there, but you can you can see once again it's down in the noise, which the noise level is pretty low this morning, but it's down in the noise, so it's kind of hard to pick it out. Okay, we're gonna switch back to the G5 RV. Keeping in mind, this loop antenna is inside the house. It's up uh, in, up in the window. So where did my other connector go? Big difference. So, I mean, just unplug this temporarily. So, basically, what that's showing you with this example of one um, test is that the external antenna, which is outside, it's 102 feet long. Uh, it's kind of your best choice, you know. You, if you've got the room to extend this wire 102 feet and bring it in via coax cable, it's going to do your best job, I think. And it also shows, and I'm going to turn this off so I don't burn up my battery, use up my battery. Is this little loop antenna does help? It does help. 
it's nowhere near the uh, improvement in the radio reception uh, compared to the G5 RV, but it does provide an improvement over uh, no antenna. Well, let's try one more thing before we finish. Is we're going to turn this back up. And you can see there's, it's, there's basically nothing there. It's not even getting noise from my room. And we're going to extend the built-in antenna and see what that does. Okay, now that's with the built-in antenna extended. I got more noise. The signal is there, but it's really weak. Now, let's plug in the loop antenna. Okay, as you can see, the first thing it does is apparently internally it disconnects the external antenna, which is good. That's what you want. So that noise I was getting induced into this external antenna is gone. Now I'll turn the power on. And I'll tune it. This has a little tuner. Okay. For that second, <laughs> you know, because you're kind of capturing these th things in, you know, a window of time and like I say conditions are changing, the weather's changing, the sun's coming up, so everything's changing on me. So by the time I switch antennas it could be just the signal coming in had changed. But as you can see from that little test there, uh, I'm not getting much improvement out of the loop antenna and the signal is almost gone. Let's turn the volume back up. It's there. I'm going to disconnect the external antenna. And I would say, because like I say, my webcam is not going to pick it up very well, I would say that the signal level goes up slightly using this for this particular test, and the noise level is goes way down using this. So that's one of the big advantages of a loop antenna like this is it helps to eliminate the noise in your room. So I just wanted to compare external and of course as we saw before the G5 RV is doing I would say maybe five times as good as the loop antenna but keeping in mind this guy is outside, and that's the key, is having an external outside antenna brought in through a coax cable. That's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.